Mortar's complete shout. Hmm. Nothing interesting here. Something floating on the surface. Oil looks like. Silver lid. Matches the cylinder bottom I found in the sewer. Dijkstra, come here. Got something? Yeah. Bomb part. Happen. Drain pool four, and bring me the guest book. Chop, chop. By the way, what about Happen? Could have overheard you mention the vault. Has access to the bathhouse whenever he wants. Happen has numerous flaws. He's pompous, pretentious, can be a real prick sometimes, ironic as that may sound. But his loyalty is beyond question. How can you be so sure? Witches know their monsters, spies know their men. You trusted Philippa Eilhart once too. True. But I didn't pull Philippa Eilhart out of a Kaviri prison the night before her execution. Let's see what's on the bottom. Grate's been removed from the drain, meaning they flushed the bomb down here. Happen? Who used this pool the day of the break-in? Let me see. Uh, Bertolt Heinz, town councilman, Josef Schweik, brewer, and Margrave Henkel. Henkel? That's impossible. Impossible? Why? Old Coot's been eating dirt since last winter. Couldn't have been here the day of the break-in. He's dead. I'd not heard. Not surprising. The Honourable Margrave croaked in a brothel, decked out in leather lingerie, so the family held a hush-hush funeral. But I have my sources. Yeah, yeah, I saw him that fateful day, Mr. Reuven. I'm certain of it. Did you speak to him? Get a good look at him? No. He merely passed by on the way in. So you didn't see Henkel? You saw an impersonator? Think for once! They scooped out your balls, not your brain! And you, Geralt, start looking into this. Fine. Where should I start? Henkel's home. Derelict townhouse south of the main square. You might happen on some trace of this scoundrel we're looking for there. Well, off with you! serve the eternal fire. Eternal fire, why me? What a dump. Looks more like a beggar's hovel than a Margrave's townhouse. Dandelion made some interesting friends.
footprints. from your birth year. It's absolutely excellent. Starting with okay. You absolutely must try it. But afterwards, please place the bottle back where you found it. Your birth year. Could be dandelions. Or Ceres. Forty five to twelve fifty four. Hmm, <laughs> satisfying click in the next room over, I think. Secret room, probably Stand. where Dandelion and his cohorts planned to find oil. Siri, Menge is following me. He has seized the treasure. He has Dandelion. You must flee. Footsteps. Not good. expect to see you here. Certainly not with Triss. I decided we could use someone who knows a bit of magic. The runes on the bomb. I'm absolutely dying to know what they mean. You dying to know too, Triss? No, just here for the coin. Ah, Marigold playing the cynical materialist. I love it. In truth, her ideals brought Triss here. She needs gold to save her colleagues. When I recover my treasure, I'll be in a position to help her. Simple as that. Speaking of which, and pardon my Beauchelair was, have you found out who fucking nicked my gold? Bothered Triss for nothing. No point examining the bomb. Because? Because I already know who nabbed your treasure. Commander of the Temple Guard, Caleb Menge. <laughs> well, well, Marigold. Your coin stands to come with a side of revenge. Geralt, would you be kind enough to tell me what you've learned? I'm terribly curious. Henkel told me. Old man's alive and well. Faked his own death to escape his creditors. Strange. I had no idea he was in debt. He was. And Menga promised to take care of things in exchange for help with the heist. So... Geralt. How can I put this delicately? Bollocks. If you thought I'd fall for that tale you just pulled out of your ass, you don't know me one bit. Know you well enough to know what matters. Results. So I lied. Still say I can lead you to your treasure. Forgive me, Geralt. But after what you just pulled, I'd sooner believe a whore who proclaimed her undying love. Would you believe a sorceress who stands to gain if you get your coin back? Perhaps. I'd still prefer the whore, though. You're hiding something. And that's one thing I can't stand. Even more than Nilfgaard. But ultimately, this is a business deal, not a marriage. Besides, there must be some truth in all those lies. 
You're too dense to make it all up on your own. Hmm. Menga has been spending heaps of coin lately, though to my knowledge he shouldn't have a copper to his name. So, what now? From what I've heard, Menga spends his nights at the docks, witch hunter's quarters. Maybe pay him a visit, ask where he's holding my gold for me. Doubt Menga will admit anything willingly. As do I. Lucky I hired a witcher and a sorceress who've been through so much together to get this done. What's our past got to do with it? A great deal. Lovers will jump into the abyss for one another. Suits my needs perfectly. Namely, it greatly increases your chances of getting out of the hunter's barracks alive. With my treasure. Information's out of date. We are not- Yes, I know. You parted a week after the summit of Loch Muin, in the woods near where the Lixella flows into the Pontar. But you know what they say, old love never dies. First, first love. Now how the hell- <laughs> That's my secret, lovebirds. Really must be going. Good luck. Didn't have to disagree so strongly. Put yourself in my shoes. What would you have said? In your shoes, I wouldn't be worrying about what to say to Dijkstra. At all. But we've strayed from our topic. Got a treasure to recover. Triss, gotta tell you something. Dijkstra's gold, it's the last thing I care about. Thought as much. This is about Siri, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Menga's got Dandelion locked up somewhere. And Dandelion saw Siri. That changes everything. Listen, meet me at midnight by the Chapel of the Eternal Fire, east of the harbor. We'll figure out a way to get into the Hunter's Barracks together. All right. See you then. And thanks. Come closer. Don't be shy. You'll find I've everything you could ever need. <laughs> my wife's mum's an old succubus. Drains my will to live. Eternal fire. And Hi. He's what a freak. For you. No. I said I'd come to the wrong place. But he said. John has swore it was Hattori's handiwork. And with a warranty. What? What's the hurry, my prince? And? He fix it for you? No. Said I'd come to the wrong place. But he sell dumplings now. Jonas swore it was Hattori's handiwork. And with a warranty. What a prick. <laughs> Glad you're here. Listen. Took a look at the building, and it does not look good. Mina could use a bit of paint and spackle. 
I mean, it's a damned fortress. High walls, guards at the gate, armed men everywhere. We could never sneak in, and fighting our way in won't work. Menga would have had plenty of time to escape. What do you suggest? Take these shackles. Put them on me. Mind explaining what this is all about? Think. Bring the hunters the vile Triss Marigold. They won't just open the gate for you. They're likely to let you present her to Menga personally. No way. Too risky. Dandelion's life's on the line. Series two. No such thing as too risky. Fine. Let's say they take the bait. What then? We go in, I put a sword to Menga's throat and ask him where Dandelion is? Might not work. Menga's scum, but you have to admit, death doesn't scare him. Always found that annoying in fanatics. So we gotta trick him into talking. Any ideas? Uh, maybe tell him you have information about the Lodge. Or about Philippa. Even better, he hates her most of all. You'll think of something. Still got a bad feeling about this, but tough. Let's go. Geralt, remember, I can take care of myself. What are you talking about? The Hunters. They won't treat me like a lady, but I'll survive. Might hurt a bit, but... Siri, she's what matters. Do what you need to do, no matter what happens. Can't promise that. I'm still asking you to, all right? Hmm, all right. What do you want? Here for my reward. On the Alpha. For a witch. Recognize who I got? It's Triss Marigold. Marigold? Come in then. Well, well. Triss Marigold. Giving up drowners for sorceresses. Pays better. It's cause they do more harm. What's a drowner do? Pull the odd fisherman from his boat. But the witches, they murder kings, scheme, start wars. Don't forget turning your cow's milk sour straight out of the udder. Ah! You're done jesting, Marigold. For good. Put her in a cell. Not so fast. I hand her over to Menga himself, or not at all. You reckon we don't know what to do with this witch? Let go, you bastard! Vulgar tongue's got no place being in such a pretty mouth. I guess we'll have to rip it out. Try to loosen it if I were you. Might learn something interesting. For instance? For instance, where Philippa Eilhart's hiding. I'll get you for this, you- Shut your gob, ginger whore! And you spit it out! Where's Eilhart? Thought I made myself clear. I'll only talk to Menga. Menga don't talk to the likes of you. Well, then you be sure to tell him I came by. With my friend Marigold. Fine, grab her and come with me. But be sure to stay right close. You can learn a great Scrum deal I lose my when you're gripping a pair of pincers or white-hot tongues. Mm. 
Here's where we split up. Go see Menga. Marigold will be next door. You can't have her until I get... You don't set the terms here. Dirk, you know what to do. You won't get a word out of me. Not you, not him. Oh, play it tough, eh? Just you wait. We'll take a fingernail or three. That ought to get you singing. Fine, take her. I'd rather she didn't interrupt my conversation. But hands off, don't touch her. Why? Feel sorry for the bitch. No, couldn't give a shit about her. But if I don't get what I want from Menga, I'll want to sell her to someone else. Don't want you damaging the goods. Keen nose for enterprise. You'd make a great madam. Don't you worry. Menga will give you your coin, and Merigold will get what she deserves. All right, had enough of this charade. What are you on about? Watch and learn. Not good. I think that's all of them. That was close. I must say, trickery and deceit, not your strong suits. True. I prefer straightforward solutions. Yeah. Fight first, ask questions later. We should search the office. Maybe we can find some documents mentioning Dandelion. I'll search his body. You search the room. I'd start with the desk.
Find anything? Just his office key in his pockets. Here. Nothing under his belt. Wait, something's sewn in the lining. What is it? The key to a vault. Here, give it to Dijkstra with my regards. I found a letter to Menga from someone important. A spy, I think. A spy? Take a look. Drop boxes, secret signals. Yeah, strong stench of spycraft here. This agent could know more about Dandelion. Bet he does. Letter explains how to signal for a meeting. No mention of where it would take place. Maybe Dijkstra can help. He knows everything. Everything? Slight exaggeration there. I'm not so sure. Key to a vault? No address? Why do I doubt this'll make Dijkstra smile? Well, might keep him from setting his thugs on us. Breaking our legs for failing to fulfill our part of the bargain. Meaning glass is half full? Of something strong, I hope. All right. Nothing left for us here. Let's go. Be glad to. Just not by way of the main gate. Well?
This is where we split up. But first, let's burn this shack down. Agreed. We've left too much evidence. Yeah, but I also need to blow off some steam. Listen, there's one other thing I wanted to talk about. But not here, and definitely not now. Come by later when you have a moment? I'd appreciate it. All right. We need to get out of here. <laughs>